because I know I signed up for one. There's a chance I signed up for two, but I know I didn't sign up for three. And that's just a little suspicious. I got another confession to make. I also have Ipsy Glenn Bag X still. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. So uh, today we're going to continue on uh, with like this part two of me revealing and confessing that I still just get like all the ipsies. I get all of them. The little one, the medium size one, the big one, all of the ipsies and all of the sizes I still receive. So let's go ahead and start here with our first ipsy box. Um, I have yet another confession to make. If y'all notice, this one's already a little bit open. Um, and that's because I started filming this unboxing once and then stopped pretty much immediately after beginning and just didn't finish it. So we're just going to restart. Um, I did only look at one product inside of here, but we're going to get through the rest of the boxes today, including this full box. Let's go ahead and get on into this. We don't have to like cut the tape or anything. I am actually... <laughs> I'm eating all my lip gloss. I am actually really excited that this is the February box. I wish I had unboxed this like, I don't know, three days sooner or something um, so we could actually do it inside of the month, but it is close enough. So this Glenn Bag X is curated by Addison Rae. Still don't know who that is. So this little magazine here will tell us about the products inside of the box. So let me go ahead and start talking about the first product that I've already looked at, which are these pair of sunglasses. I did wrap them back up for you guys so you can get like the experience. These are from the brand Quay and they're a pair of little sunglasses. I do like this clear kind of outer case. It's actually like pretty like nice feeling for a clear case like this. It comes with a very adorable little cleaning cloth here. It's just a nice ombre from pink and orange. This is what the glasses look like. They have like a aviator look to them. Um, I don't really know how well I can pull off aviators. The tightness, my goodness, ow. <laughs> People think I'm being mean to myself all the time when I say that my head is large, but like, no, like scientifically, quantitatively, I can say that my head is large. I've measured it before. So like, it's not me just being mean, it's me just stating like fact. Anyway, um, these are the glasses. No idea what they look like on me because again, I cannot see for anything. Um, let me grab my mirror real fast. That's looming. I don't think they look too terrible on. Like they're a pretty standard. Are they crooked? Could just be my ears. They're just a pretty standard looking pair of sunglasses. They are incredibly flat though. So there's like a lot of like gappage over here where you can kind of like see in your peripherals. But I do like them and they feel like very, you know, like secure on my head. I do think they might end up giving me a little bit of a headache though. All right. So that is the first item. Next all the way up here, we have this little box. This looks kind of fun. This is from Aceology. Oh, it is a multivitamin brightening mask. So I'm guessing it's just little things of sheet masks. Yes, it is. So we have four little masks here and uh, yeah, they're supposed to illuminate, exfoliate, and strengthen. So all oh, that sounds really nice. All right, grabbing around in here. Next thing I'm feeling is plastic. Oh, it's the outer bag for the sunglasses. Okay, uh, let's go for this box. Oh, okay. So the next item we have in here is from Item Beauty, which I did just recently learn is apparently by Addison Rae, which I do actually enjoy several things from Item. This little lip gloss right here is actually really nice. This is the lip quip in the shade come through and it has like a really nice peachy scent to it and a very soft doe foot so I do like some item stuff. It appears that this oh it's an eyeshadow palette that's fun. This is the on the daily eyeshadow palette so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty neutral and yes it is quite neutral. Um, That's a lot of browns. That's a good that's a good amount of browns. I mean for me personally I love me a good brown eyeshadow. That's pretty much all I wear anymore along with kind of a few paler pink shades but overall this is a very wearable palette. There's not too many shimmers in here. There's mainly mattes. It looks like there are four shimmers and six mattes. So for me personally, this is something that I would get use out of because I do tend to stick with very wearable looks nowadays because I don't really leave the house. So all right, grubbing around back in here, just more plastic. Um, the next thing I am seeing is a little box. This is from MZ Skin. Oh, it's an eye serum. Okay, so this is a soothe and smooth hyaluronic brightening eye complex. And I do really enjoy eye serums. I say that like every time I get one. But there's just something I feel like so easy about trying out an eye serum. Like I really don't have to worry about breakouts or like how sensitive my skin is going to be. Well, I probably should worry about that because I have actually had a few eye things like turn the skin around my eyes like red and then it starts flaking off, which is just a really good look. But for the most part, for how many eye serums that I have tried out before, I feel like it's just kind of like an easy thing to test. Oh, it's a very pretty little jar. It's just kind of like a frosted pink glass with a gold top. I think that's really cute. You get 0.47 fluid ounces, which is a 
which is a good amount for an eye cream, but what does that like not look like 0.47 fluid ounces to me? Like this little thing here is a pretty thick walled glass, so the product actually sets just kind of inside of there. And I'm picturing like a foundation bottle and how much liquid is inside of that, and typically they're like one ounce, so this just seems like less than that, but it could be, it. I'm sure that's accurate. <laughs> I'm detecting a smell. Smelly smell, it smells smelly. Is there rose in this? I'm actually not sure if there is rose in this or not. That's just too many words to read right now. Um, but it does kind of have a bit of a floral, kind of rosy scent. It might not be exactly rose, but it's definitely floral. Not too overpowering though. The next little thing I'm feeling in here is a small thin box. This is from Stila. Oh, they're still a brand. You know, sometimes you just don't hear from a brand for a while and then you just kind of forget they existed. This is the Stay All Day Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm kind of liking the idea of having like a smudge stick. I'm not sure if that's going to be any different than having like a precise liner, but even sometimes with my liquid liner, I'll like kind of smudge it out with my finger before it fully dries to give it that kind of like smoky look. So I'm hoping that this kind of like lends to being smudged like that before it dries. It does look very similar to just a regular black eyeliner, but we'll see. Okay, well, it, you know, it does look like a very just standard eyeliner. This is in the shade Stingray, AKA black. But maybe the formula has something to do with why they call it a smudge stick. Ah. Wait, okay, well, just trying it out there, to be honest, um, I, j I just put it on and then quickly smudged it with my hand, but it didn't really, like, smudge well. It just kind of wiped off, so it's just black eyeliner. Okay, I don't know why I was convinced it was something different. I really don't. Oh my gosh, there's so much left in here. I've been talking way too much. So this is from Tula Skincare. This is a 24-7 moisturizing, hydrating night cream. Oh, and day cream. Day and night. seems to freeze Again, another very pretty bottle. I love that aqua blue color. It's supposed to be a lightweight moisturizer that you can wear at nighttime or during the day. I've been seeing a lot of these safety seals recently, like the really like industrial safety seals, like, you know, not a little piece of flimsy plastic. It's like there's a whole second cap under the first cap. Only problem with that is I can't really get them off very well. Like cram the fingernails under there. I, I definitely think it's safe enough to where people like wouldn't open it to tamper with it, but I also think it's safe enough to where like I can't physically access the product. All right, you guys, I'm gonna assume this looks like a moisturizer and probably smells like a moisturizer. Um, It's pretty firmly in there. So I'm gonna have to get like, you know, like a knife, a knife. No! or some type of prying device to get this open. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure this is a very nice moisturizer. It's supposed to leave your dull and tired skin looking supple, plump, and glowy. Next up here, we have something from the brand Kinship. This is a super melt vegan jelly lip mask. Ooh, that sounds kind of fun. On the side there, it has some pretty cool text. It says melt like jelly. Maybe it's cause like my current food obsession is toast and jelly. You know when you get like obsessed with something and you eat it every single day, like consistently? I can't explain it to you. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find it revolting here in like a week or two, <laughs> but this is what the mask looks like. Again, super cute packaging, really loving the colors and stuff. It says this is hydration plus a gentle exfoliant for plumper, softer lips. Oh, this sounds really, really interesting. I'm actually quite excited about this. I listen, you guys, I complained all the time about my lips being so like dehydrated and dry and crunchy and crusty. And people are like, oh, you know, you need to drink water, stay hydrated. And I was like, I do that, right? I drink water. That's a thing I do, I'm sure. But apparently I wasn't drinking nearly enough. <laughs> I just recently started drinking one of these bad boys once a day. This is 64 ounces of water and like my lips have changed. No, it is currently not 9 a.m. and I did not start drinking this at 7 a.m. We need to readjust these times to like more down here. But I do get through one of these once a day and uh, I think it has made a big difference. Oh, what a thunk. <laughs> oh, 111 skin. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is from 111 skin. This is the cryo pre-activated toning cleanser. I don't know what they mean by pre-activated. Do you have to pre-activate toners? Is that a thing that you do with toners? I'm also wondering if this kind of like gets cold on your face because they say it is a cryo cleanser and you know like the cryo chambers when you get in there and freeze your tukis off. It is 4.6 fluid ounces and this is a very pricey brand so I'm sure that this is a pretty expensive product and yeah basically you just use it like a regular cleanser but um interesting. Uh, I'll give it a try. All right you guys I do believe that is everything inside of this box. Let's go ahead and pop everything back into there and I'll get you guys some prices here for all the items so we can determine a value of this box. So we have the Item Beauty eyeshadow palette which is $24. The Quay sunglasses are $65. This, this Stila eyeliner is $22. <laughs> the Imsy skin. 
I'm sorry, the MZ Skin Smooth Smooth Smooth. I can't even read it because I think that price is absolutely ridiculous. That little bottle of pink stuff, well, the pink bottle of stuff is $143. I mean, <laughs> Anyway, the uh, next thing in here, the Kinship Vegan Jelly Mask is $18. The I oh, we didn't get that. What else did we get? I don't know. Oh, there's more in the back. Okay, so the Tula Skin Care is $52. So I would say that this is a pretty pricey box. Unfortunately, I don't have a calculating device. I guess let's do this like the caveman way. Let me get off this pen and paper here real fast. 52 and 18. Eight with the two is 10. Is this anywhere near correct? You know how long it's been since I've written down numbers and added them together? It's been a very long time. <laughs> Thank heavens, honestly. Okay, um, so the number that I got was $324 as the total value for this box. Is that accurate? Uh, you guys saw the math. You, you you tell me. I don't know. I think that $324 is a pretty good value. I feel like we got a lot of usable items in here. We also got something that wasn't just a makeup item, the sunglasses. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. <laughs> cardboard cut. All right, moving right along here to box number two. I forgot how many items were inside of these boxes, so I'm gonna move a little bit faster through these as, as Addison again. Do I get two of these every time they send them out? That was honestly a question that was never fully answered. I really never knew, even from the beginning when I first started unboxing these, how many Ipsy X's that I really truly received. Today we're going to be looking at some Ipsy Glam Bag X's that I got, and I have two of them and I don't know why. I don't know where like, the second one came from. I don't remember signing up for two, and if two doesn't send me PR, so... I don't know how the second one got here. Sometimes I would get one. Sometimes I would get two. I don't, I really, really didn't know. And checking my accounts really didn't help much. It was a little bit confusing to be fully honest. Ipsy's also charging me randomly like $140 every now and then, even though they're charging me individually for like a bunch of other stuff too. And I've contacted them about it several times and I've never heard back from them. They also don't have a phone number. Yeah, I gotta look into that one. Anyway, so we have a secondary box here. Um, I, there, This one honestly could be a third of the same box. I really truly do not know, <laughs> but let's go ahead and see how many um, different items we got and how many repeats. So the first thing I am seeing here is from Act and Acre. Definitely have never heard of that brand before, but this is a plant-based dry shampoo. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Um, I did used to use dry shampoo quite a bit, but I have reduced my use like almost to none now. This just has a little pump to it and it has rice powder and tapioca powder in it. So those powders combined, I'm assuming, are what absorb like all the grease and oil out of your hair instead of whatever it is they put in other dry shampoo, which I'm sure is, I'm sure it's just straight chemicals. I know a lot of dry shampoo is like one of the first ingredients is like butane, so that can't be great for you. Um, but yeah, this is really interesting. I'll give it a try, even though I really try to stay away from putting anything that could potentially clog like hair follicles, because you know, I'm lacking hair. So uh, I try to keep as much of it as I can in my scalp. Oh, it actually looks like we have a good amount of like non-repeat products in here. So the next thing I am seeing is from Jean Skin, Generation Skin. Oh, okay. I do have I actually believe I have received a similar item from this brand before, but these are brightening Kak Anu Plum Eye Patches. These are supposed to be energizing, hydrating, and brightening, and it's just, you know, like the little kind of boomerang-shaped eye patches that go under your eyes. The ones that I received last time, I do believe came in blue packaging though, so they were just a little bit different. Ooh, there's a baggie of stuff in here. Oh, I'm actually really excited, yay! Okay, so the next two things we have in here are the item lip glosses that I was just talking about. And we get a duo of them, which is super exciting, and they are both in different shades. Yay, I'm very excited about this. So we have a Item Beauty Rolled by Lip Gloss. Oh wait, are these different? Oh. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'm still excited. I guess it's gonna be trying something a little bit different, but these are actually lip glosses, and this one is a lip oil, so I guess they're gonna be just a little bit different, but I'm sure they'll still be nice. So we have a Rolled by Lip Gloss in the shade Moon and Sun. Oh, cute. So it is like a little set of the two. I personally am more drawn to the moon shade. Sun just looks a little bit too vibrant to me and it also looks like there might be some glitter to it. Yeah, okay, so these are definitely different too. The lip oils, the packaging and everything is different. These are a little bit more like chunkier guys. Um, They're still pretty cute. The glosses themselves look like they might be kind of like a milky gloss. So not like a transparent color gloss, but they have more of like a color or a base to them. Oh, they unfortunately also don't have the really nice peach smell. So I am a little bit on the sad side, Um, but this looks like a nice one. It is nice and big. It has kind of like a frosting -y vanilla scent to it. Definitely a good amount of pigmentation to it and I think it actually would look really nice on the lips. Not too overpowering. I kind of layered it on top of like all the other stuff I have on my lips which is mainly um, this gloss and just a little bit of color. It feels pretty nice and it did add just like a little bit of milkiness to the lip but not terrible. 
I'm very sticky. Ooh, okay, so sun is a little bit different than I was expecting. This is like intensely Barbie pink. It is Barbie, it is sparkle, it's hot pink. I mean, it is really pretty and fun to look at. It's just not really my style of lip gloss, um, but it's, it's pretty cute. We have our first repeat here. We have another Tula Skincare 24-7 moisturizer, followed by a couple other repeats. I'll just go ahead and grab them out. This one I'm real excited about. I mean, I have no idea if it's gonna be a good product or not, but like I'm just, it, 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 I'm anticipating it being really nice. Uh, so we have another Kinship Super Melt and whoop de doo woohoo, I'm, I'm rich. I now have two of the $143 eye serums. It's mind boggling to me that this little thing can cost that much money, but uh, it must be really good. All right, moving on to some things we haven't seen just yet. Oh, we have a mascara. This is from Say? S-A-I-E, Say? Oh yeah, it says sayhello.com. Oh, okay. so it's like, you know, when people's name is like Sarah, but it's spelled like S-A-Y-Y-E, E-R-A-H. And they're like, oh, it says Sarah. And I'm like, okay. So it's a different way of saying say. Uh, but this is Mascara 101. It's supposed to be for thick, bold, lifted lashes. This is in the shade black. And it's just very simple looking packaging, just kind of like matte black with that pale purple. Ooh. Oh my heavens, my heavens. Okay, so my first like not so great reaction opening it up was me just like looking at this tiny little like kind of spiky wand. This is just not in any way, shape or form my kind of wand that I would go for. And then my second reaction was to smelling it and it is the most Flonase-y thing I've ever smelled. This smells more like Flonase than Flonase does. Why does it smell like that? That's intense. That's very intense. And then finally, last but not least, we have the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. Is there something going on with Juvia's Place? I feel like I saw something on Twitter about something going on not so good with Juvia's Place. Um, I, I don't know. I don't really keep up with that kind of thing. Something is like just sparking in my memory that very recently maybe the founder or somebody associated with it said something not so great or something maybe. But anyway, this is what the palette looks like. I think the colors are really pretty. Apparently they're supposed to be pretty pigmented shadows. I love a warm toned eyeshadow palette. There are a lot of shimmers in here, not many mattes. I think I'm only counting four out of this palette um but yeah I mean, it, looks, it looks pretty I just I just don't know what's going on so so I just I don't want to like speak on it too much or say something that is inaccurate so we're just going to move on to the prices all right so some of the prices we already know we know the $143 for the eye stuff which is insane uh the Juvia's Place palette is 20 oh I forgot about putting oh no I forgot to include the price of the Aceology masks in the first box well dagnab it okay so just whatever I said for that one tack on like almost 60 bucks so that was like a nearly $400 box where's all the stuff that was in this one the kinship thing was $18 generation skin patches was 14 where, where did that come from? That, that's nowhere in, it's $49. How did I get 14 out of 49? The Acton Acre dry shampoo is $22. The item bluey the what is happening? The item <laughs> the item beauty lip gloss duo was 32 and the Tula skincare was 52 and I think that's everything that was inside of this box I'm gonna get my phone new guys. I like I can't the math I'm just gonna go get my technological device to tell us the math I secured the math computing device and uh, I forgot to mention that the mascara is $24 So adding that all up together. I got a total value of $360 which is pretty good. The two boxes have a very similar value to them I personally think I might have liked the first box better so far but uh, let me know which one you guys preferred. All right, and let's uh, go ahead and get, get, get along, little doggy. Move on here to the third and final box we're gonna be opening up today. Is it also from Miss Ash? <laughs> They're all February as well. <laughs> when did I sign up for three of them? When did that happen, Ipsy? Please let me know. Because I know I signed up for one. There's a chance I signed up for two, but I know I didn't sign up for three. And that's just a little suspicious. Just a small amount suspicious because I know I didn't sign up for three of these boxes. All right, we got Miss Addison Ray again. Let's just go ahead and pull out the repeat items. We scored another $143 worth of eye goop, cream or serum, whatever you want to call it. We are now up 143 times three. 
there's an eye cream. You know what $429 can buy you? A heck of a lot more than three pots of eye cream. I know that for sure. Tell you that for free. Anyway, so there's that. Um, then we also have another of the Item Beauty eyeshadow palettes, also the On The Daily shade. So again, just a very nice neutral kind of everyday looking brown palette. Ah, our skin's gonna be hydrated for so many hours. Um, we have a third little bottle here of the 24-7 moisturizer from Tula. Another little tube here of just black Flonase. Alrighty, it does look like we're moving on to new items now. So the next thing we have in here is, wow, this is an extra large bombshell volumizer from the brand Color Wow. And I was just talking about how I would love to have some more volume to my hair. Uh, I started drawing it upside down, which helps actually quite a lot. Is this a mousse? I thought they discontinued mousse in the 80s. Why does it intimidate me more now that I know it is a mousse? For some reason, if it was a spray, I was like ready to use it. But now that it's a mousse, I'm like nervous. I do tend to be pretty picky about the things I put in my hair, just simply like out of fear. <laughs> like it's just out of fear that it's gonna for some reason cause my hair to fall out more than it already does. So I'll look up some reviews and stuff on this. Um, that always kind of brings my mind to ease when I'm trying out a new hair product and uh, hopefully it'll give me some nice volume if it's a nice good product. Oh, sneaky. I didn't even see this one in the corner almost. Uh, the next thing we have in here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is their clear brow gel. Um, I guess I could get some use out of a clear brow gel just to maybe like make things stay in place a little bit better. I have always had pretty thick eyebrows, like, you know, that grow from like up to here to like down to here all the way across. But for some reason recently, just my left eyebrow has been disappearing. It's, I don't know where it's going. It's taking a little trip, taking a little break, a vacation, going on sabbatical. I don't know where it's going, but I really hope it does come back one day. This one's fine. Like this one still looks pretty normal, but this one for some reason is thinning out like crazy, especially like right here in the center for some reason. Like they're just, they're just no higher. Where'd it go? So I couldn't just like slap on some clear brow gel and be good for the day. I would definitely have to put on some color first and then some brow gel on top of it. <laughs> Hold the alcohol. <laughs> That's very strong. It's just a very regular looking spoolie and uh, the brow gel itself is just clear. So yeah, I'm sure it does brow gel things. This looks pretty interesting. The next thing we have in here, oh, it's from Pat McGrath. Whoa, okay. The packaging of this is just super cool. This is a lip gloss. It is in the shade Lust Gloss Love Potion. Like I said, I really like the packaging. It's kind of giving me like punk 80s vibes. I'm very interested in seeing the color. I really am hoping it's a wearable color, but ooh. Definitely different than what I was expecting. I was anticipating like this, like basically just this, like a hot pink, but this is not that at all. It is just a very, very pale light pink, some shimmer to it. I'm wondering if this would make your lips look kind of like frosty though. I am not like a frosty lip person at all whatsoever. Oh, it smells good. It does smell like kind of vanilla, a little like on the candy side, but mainly vanilla. Um, I personally, I don't know if I'm gonna give this a try just because I do think it's gonna make my lips have that kind of like frosted look to them and I'm just not a fan of that, but I'm sure there is somebody that would love to have this lip gloss. And then finally, the last thing we have in here is from Keys. I feel like I might have received this before in a smaller size. This is the Harmony Mask, and this has honey and charcoal in it. I just love like the little keyhole on the top. I used to collect like uh, antique skeleton keys, so just anything with keys I really like. Oh, what a beautiful bottle. That is so pretty. Very like nice and heavy glass. I honestly can't tell if it's black or like really intensely deep blue. When you hold it up to to the light you almost actually get like a purple look out of it so maybe it's just like a really intensely deep purple and then when you open it up you can see that like gray of the charcoal it does have a pretty intense smell but it's like a herbally kind of like I want to say herbal essences every time I describe a scent like this but it's it's not the scent of like taking a shower in the rainforest it's the scent of like herbs and kind of like aromatherapy um I do like the scent it's just a little bit strong now that I'm looking at it I do actually think the bottle is purple and uh yeah I think it's really pretty I like the oh, all of it oh that that would make sense because the box is also purple so you know Alright you guys, so that was everything in the third and final February box. Very sorry it wasn't like a little bit more variety, but at least we're like kind of close to the month they came out. Uh, so the only new items really were the Colorwall Volumizer, which is $26. The Keys Soul Care, which is $28. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that, like just based on the quality of that bottle that it came in. Um, but that's really not bad. And I think the Anastasia was the only other new item, which is $22. So let me get you guys a value real fast. I'm 
hoping I didn't leave anything out, but this box came to a total value of $321, so it actually was a little bit less expensive than the other two boxes. The other ones got a lot closer to $400. Um, this also is probably my least favorite out of the three. It's still a decent value, I guess, for everything that you paid for the box, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about these. Sorry this is going to be a very long video. I talked way too much in this. I'll put like a disclaimer at the beginning, like very chatty, doesn't stop talking. I'm so sorry. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to continue to do the Ipsy X unboxings along with the other Ipsys. Just any of your thoughts and feelings about Ipsy in general. We might be bringing them back to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about that. But anyway, that is all I have you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would be the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!